2022 marks exactly 50 years since the last manned mission to the moon, but it seems like that's all about to change, as SpaceX director just teased a moon base staffed by potentially hundreds or even thousands of people. Stay tuned as we give you the latest updates on a future moon base. First up, say it. I can say moon base, right? Asked Nick Cummings, the director of civil space development at SpaceX. Yes, Nick, you can definitely say it. Strap yourselves in, we're going to the moon. At this year's Commercial Space Transportation Conference, Nick Cummings hinted at the company's future plans to set up a base on the moon. The space exploration company, led by billionaire Elon Musk, is getting ready to create a rich ecosystem of scientists and explorers on the moon with hopes of advancing technology and the human race. These plans are probably a small part of Elon's big picture to colonize planets, with the first one being the moon. And while nothing is official at this point in time, we're guessing SpaceX will be sending NASA astronauts to the moon in the next 5 to 10 years. Next, Ship 20 and our future. The news to set up a moon base came right after Elon Musk revealed his new toy, the Ship 20. In comparison to the giant 230-foot booster, Ship 20, also called SN20, is a tiny space shuttle that will ship NASA astronauts to the moon. So what makes Ship 20 so unique? Well, for starters, it can carry a lot of cargo, like a lot of cargo. Secondly, it will be providing raw materials to help build the moon base. If you've played with Lego as a kid, you probably remember those sets that were two in one. You can build a car and a plane with the same pieces. That's similar to how the new Ship 20 will function. After safely landing on the moon, SN20 will provide the raw materials needed to set up a base on the moon. Although the SN20 is still a prototype, we've already seen it stacked on the Super Heavy booster, and wow did it look amazing. Together, the two spacecraft covered the skies and broke a record for the world's tallest rocket, standing at almost 400 feet. Both spacecraft still need to undergo some operational tests, as well as an environmental review before actually being worthy for space travel. On the other hand, whether you like it or not, it's going going to get really crowded and hot one day. Global warming is increasing at alarming rates every year, and the world's population is also multiplying. Experts think that, at best, we have a few decades before things go south, and there's a significant strain on Earth's natural resources. But there's also some light at the end of the tunnel, like how the ozone layer will fully replenish itself in a couple of years, or how we're cutting back on our consumption of plastic and fossil fuels. However, Elon Musk is not risking it one bit. He believes that spreading beyond Earth is the only chance of our survival. Musk thinks it's a must for humans to go to the moon in order to survive. We're sure that'll get the team working extra hard. No pressure, guys. You're only working to preserve the future of humanity. Is it really necessary, though? It's not the first time Elon Musk and SpaceX have faced criticism after sharing their plans for the future. Many people think Elon Musk should direct the company's efforts towards creating a better life on Earth instead of looking beyond it. But but we're guessing Elon Musk's spending habits are out of this world. Another batch of Starlink satellites. The Falcon 9 completed its 11th mission on February 21st this year when it launched another batch of 46 Starlink satellites in space. Last time around, the Falcon 9 launched a batch of 49 satellites on February 3rd. But just like on Earth, there are also chances of bad weather in space. There was a severe solar storm, and nearly 40 satellites re-entered the atmosphere. Must have been pretty bad honestly speaking, we keep imagining that scene from Interstellar when the Endurance is trying to dock with the station. When you think about it, the experts at SpaceX are just finding clever solutions to complex problems. Unfortunately, the problem and solutions both end up being complex for us, but it would seem pretty simple if we were to break it down. The crew released the satellites farther up in space to avoid re-entering this time, and to get them farther up in space, they reduced the total count from 49 to 46. And while we're sure it probably involved a lot of formulas and calculations, the logic is really clever. The Falcon 9 has been doing a lot of heavy lifting this year. Most recent trips include shipping the CSG-2 radar imaging satellite for Italy, a classified payload for the National Reconnaissance Office, and the Transporter 3 rideshare mission. The Falcon 9 is set to perform at least 50 more missions this year, and to think one day those rockets will be carrying humans for a casual trip up to space. Exciting! A public rocket garden? What could be cooler than having a rocket up for public display. Seeing a rocket take off is one thing, but since you're only allowed to see it from a distance, you never really get to appreciate the sheer size of the thing. After 
brief interaction with a fan on Twitter, Elon Musk has promised to send out a retired prototype rocket to the Texas airport. Looks like Texans are about to get their own rocket garden. The move to go public with a prototype should be good for Elon Musk, considering the amount of criticism he faces from Texan residents. Just recently, an environmentalist group sued SpaceX, claiming that the Boca Chica Beach has been closed for over 450 hours since 2019 because of rocket launches and tests. Apart from that, every time there's a launch or a test, the highways are sealed off. Honestly, it must be a difficult situation. On the one hand, you're getting to see a rocket go to space, but on the other hand, everything around you is closed. Elon Musk still continues to give back to Texans despite their stern criticism. In 2021, Musk donated $10 million to revamp downtown Brownsville and another $20 million to Cameron County Schools. He also plans to build a new city near the facility. He's definitely been giving back to the community, and considering his plans, Texas may end up becoming an economic hub because of its innovation in space technology and exploration. SpaceX has a lot of loyal customers, and NASA happens to be one of them. Since SpaceX will probably be helping NASA astronauts go to space in the coming years, they have a pretty decent relationship. But after hearing about Elon Musk's plans to launch nearly 30,000 more Starlink satellites in the lower orbit, NASA has raised a lot of concerns. NASA claims launching such a large number of satellites will result in a lot of issues. It might even lead to an asteroid heading straight for the Earth and going unnoticed. Apart from that, NASA said it will lead to crowdedness. There's already so much debris that enters and exits the International Space Station, it might be more difficult with 30,000 more satellites. And honestly, we don't know a lot about science, but NASA's claims do sound kind of reasonable. Elon Musk, however, states launching 30,000 Starlink satellites will have no future implications. He said that you could practically launch a billion satellites in the Earth's lower atmosphere, and it wouldn't make a difference. And it's not like Starlink satellites are just floating around in space. Each satellite is autonomous and can detect its surroundings. It can move out of the way if it has to. There's also some science behind keeping the satellites in the lower orbit. In the worst case scenario, if a satellite does decide to come crashing down at the Earth because of the orbit, it will burn up more quickly than those orbiting at a higher altitude. So what do you think? Will SpaceX be able to build a moon base in the next five years? Or do you think the company is a bit too ambitious these days? Let us know what you think in the comments below. That's it from our side. Thanks for watching and see you next time.